Hi, I'm Tim Miller Morgan. I'm an extension veterinarian for aquatic species with Oregon Sea Grant Extension. And what we're going to do today is talk about how we um, go about sedating a fish to do common medical procedures. And many of these are procedures that a veterinarian wouldn't be necessarily be involved in, but they are sort of they are standard husbandry procedures uh, that you would do in any kind of fish culture setting. So that's what that's what we'll talk about first. So when we're sedating a fish, the re sedation is basically making the fish um, <clears throat> incapacitated so it can't really move and it can easily be handled, but also so that it doesn't feel any pain. So we're um, stopping the fish from moving and we're also making sure that we're blocking any pain. Uh, typically when we're sedating a fish, there's a number of drugs we can use. Um, I like to use a drug called uh, Finquel or methane tricane sulfonate. Uh, a number of hobbyists out there will be familiar with clove oil, which you can actually buy over the counter. And I um, don't tend to use clove oil, although it, it does work for these procedures. But if I'm doing anything that is particularly, that may be painful, um, clove oil, there's some evidence to suggest that it does not block pain. And uh, that's another debate whether or not fish feel pain, but we're assuming that they feel something akin to pain. So we're using a drug that is shown to block, block pain responses. And that's why we use MS-222. Now, you can buy this even if you're not a veterinarian, but you need to go through a particular company and they may ask for some documentation that you're not diverting it into the food industry or something like that, but it can, it can be used. Now, with MS-222, it's a great drug, but it will acidify the water. So we always need to buffer it in some way when we're using it. So typically what we do is we just use Arm & Hammer baking soda. Um, and if you're squeamish about using something that isn't pharmaceutical grade, you can always go buy pharmaceutical grade sodium bicarbonate, but baking soda is a buck a box. So this is what we use. And the amount that we use is double the amount you have calculated for using the MS-222. So for instance, if I need three grams of MS-222, I would add to the mix six grams of baking soda. Okay. So what we've done here is we've gone ahead and weighed out the amount that we need. And what we do is we start off with what we call a standard sedative dose. And for most fish, that is between 50 and 100 milligrams per liter of MS-222. And uh, a milligram per liter is also a part per million. And so we've weighed that out. So here's 80, uh, measured out for 80 milligrams per liter of MS-222 with the, twice the amount of baking soda. Now you notice it looks like there's less baking soda there. It's just that baking soda is a heavier compound than the MS-222. Once that is all done, then once we have it all weighed out, then what we do is we actually add this directly to the water that the fish will be in. Now, if we're using a fish tank, what we like to do is pull the fish out of the fish tank and actually have it in a separate tote or bucket for sedating the fish. And, um, and then we add the drug directly to that because you don't want to add the drug to your whole fish tank or your whole pond where you might run the risk of sedating everything else. So that's what we'll do next is we'll add the drug to the, to the tote and you'll see how the fish is, becomes sedated. So in summary, when we're talking about sedation, remember the goal of sedation is to immobilize the fish so it can be easily handled, to make sure that you're, you're blocking any pain sensation, and also when you're using the drug, in this case we're using MS-222, remember that it is a drug that is acidifying, it was acidifying to the water so that we need to buffer it with twice the amount of baking soda to the amount of drug that we've actually, of MS-222 that we've used. So that, that's the real point. We're trying to control the animal and then we're trying to make sure that we've made the drug that we're using safe so that it won't hurt the animal while we're working with it.